Hey, is anyone getting a whole ton of mail lately, ordering a bunch of stuff from online, and you all have these mail things? Um, I hate to throw anything away, so I saved mine, and I want to show you how we are going to make two really cool projects. Look at these fun, weird things. Little hangers I can hang in a window. Aren't these fun? They're so cool. You make them from this. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, you can also make beads out of this stuff. Look at these cool little beads I have here. They look kind of funky. Pretty awesome, aren't they? Um, so I'm gonna teach you how to do this and we're gonna do it fast. Um, basically you just take these mail envelopes. Don't steal them from the mail place. Recycle what you have. It's not nice to steal. It's not nice, it's not nice. Um, and what you want to do is you want to get out your acrylic paint and you want to just get a bunch of paint on there. Like do some fun stuff. Um, here's a cool one. You can use brushes. You can use your fingers. This one I kind of like. Lots of different colors. Get some texture. Here you can use like the end of a spoon and you can put some texture in there. That's how I did this one here. Isn't that kind of fun? Um, look at all of these, so many different ones. If you have stamps at home, you can press stamps in. Here you go, and just do tons of stuff. What you wanna do is, once you um, paint your sheets up, you wanna turn them over like this, and with the Sharpie, you want to just create some triangles here, and then you want to cut those out with scissors. Once you cut those out, you're gonna get a whole bunch of strips, just like this. If you want thin beads, you make a really thin strip. If you want really big, fat, long beads, you do longer strips like this. And you want to get out a bunch of skewers. These are just from, I don't know, supposed to you know cook vegetables on the grill with that I guess while well, I make art with it you know me um, so you want to take a skewer and you want to start your little strip here and start from the fat side and squeeze and you just want to roll it roll it roll it roll it roll it do 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 you know me making my sounds La, 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 la. I'm making this look really easy, but sometimes it's really hard to do this. Make them as tight as you can. And then take a safety pin and just stick it in the end as hard as you can. Okay, stick it in there really good. I already had another one done over here for you. And then you're gonna need your heat gun. These things are so awesome. Everybody should have one of these. You can do amazing stuff with this. And move everything off your surface. Don't use a surface that's gonna burn up. This is 350 degrees in a gun. And you wanna heat these babies and they're gonna start melting. Ooh, look at my pin came undone, so I'm gonna go over to this one. You're gonna start melting. I'm gonna be really careful not to let kids do this. They might burn themselves. Or at least be close and warn them. I hope you guys can hear me over this. It's kind of loud. And now this guy's really melted up a lot. I'm gonna go back to this one and see what happens if it's not tied down. See, if it's not tied down, it kind of moves. Woo, oh my, crazy. Make crazy beads. You can see the edges really kind of burning up. There you go. And then wait a little bit. And whoop, there's one. This one I could do longer, but you know, you get the idea. Here's another one. And you can always trim them down if you want them to be more even. But isn't that so fun? And then you can bead a necklace with them. You know, maybe 
mix those beads with a bunch of just plain, so many beads, so little. Um, you know, mix them with little beads like this. You can rotate them all the way around a little bracelet. It'd look really cool. So that's how you make beads with this shrinky material. What about these guys? Aren't those fun? Um, with these, I just take the surface of the material, paint it up, make it really cool. I actually hate that color. Let's, let's do this one. This one's beautiful. All right. Take a skewer. Move everything you don't want to burn out of the way. Hold it down. Watch what happens. Now this will start on fire. If you hold this really, really close, look what happens. You're going to create these little puckers and it's kind of cool. You're getting a little bit of smoke. And there's not going to be a fire, but you know. There you go. And you just keep doing this all the way around. If you just keep burning it, it makes these really cool shapes. You can see I'm getting a little smoke there. The smoke that's coming is just the paint that's burning off. We're lucky in Arizona we can do this outside if we are concerned about that. Nothing silly. And you just keep going, shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. If you hold it really close, you'll get a hole. See, sometimes the holes look kind of cool. Makes it look kind of old. And then once you shrink it to where you want it to be, this one right here, um, then I put some glitter in there. You can add little, little beads in the pockets. They're kind of funky little things, aren't they? They're weird little funky things. But anyway, it's a fun little project to do with the recycling material that you have at home for free. I hope you have fun doing shrink art, shrink mail art. We'll call it shrink mail art. Um, have a great day, everybody. Good night.